Namaste. In this episode, we will go through an exquisite, exciting performance by Pandit Rajan and Sajan Mishra in Rag Meg Malar to strengthen our concepts and idea of what gamak is. Now, in the previous episode, we discussed the bare minimum working definition of gamak, and we also maybe discussed one or two points wherein gamak can be used in a rag to convey certain emotions. Now, I said maybe because I want you guys to have a very basic working definition of what gamak is, and then I want you to develop upon it yourself by listening to more and more recordings. <laughs> The rhythm cycle is Rupak or a seven beat cycle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. On the tabla is again Pandit Kumar Bose, and on the harmonium is Pandit Dharamnath Mishra, who is again a great harmonium player. Usage of gamak in a tan. To differentiate each note within a tan, you use gamak, you emphasize the notes. That was Gamak. Every time I do this, they're using Gamak. यह नाद के समुद्र में गायक गुनी तरत हैं गायक गुनी सब तरत हैं जब राम दास गोविंद के पद कमल Badar Garaj, the the of Badar is falling on the sum, hence so much emphasis on the the. Banaras Karana. Try and keep rhythm. Tabla player showed his repertoire and landed on the sum. And now we're coming back to singing. Increasing the tempo a bit. Mm. So that was a sargam tan, but each note was emphasized with gamak. This is an akar tan. So this was an akar tan, which each note emphasized with the help of gamak on each note. Each note in an akar tan, when sung as a, ah, being emphasized with the help of. Ah, 
you see how it's sectioned into small, small chunks. This is, each of these is called a dana or a grain, which is created with the help of kamak. And the whole thing is of course called a tan. Uh, tan, a fast combination of notes. So that was a short and a great recording which gave us a very slight insight as to what gamak is and what gamak can be and where gamak can be used. We started the previous episode, the definition episode, I'll put up a link, wherein we said that gamak can be used to emphasize each note in a taan, whether you're singing it in akar as a or as sargam. So if you're pronouncing sare gama padhani, we saw that. Moreover, we saw the usage of gamak, wherein the artists were moving their hands like this because it requires so much of not only your throat muscles but your body as one unit to produce that much of vibration, slow frequency vibration in your voice to convey emotions. You see how it's a complex subject. We saw that in this episode. And you know what? I'll try my best in the upcoming episodes to combine chand, laikari, mead, gamak, all of these ornamentations which have their you know technical definition, dry technical definition and use can also be used very well to infuse your composition with more and more emotion, right? So that was it for this episode and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, Namaste.